Okay, so is it now? This is his bad foot. So good to get that done first. No, he will have to stand well, on actually, it. That's part of what Dr. The, Wilson was concerned. The bad, the bad right. foot is actually harder to work on oh. because I have to move the joint. Oh, oh, oh. So, which is why I'm not putting it between my legs. Got it. I'm leaving it lay here so that he can yeah. just relax. That's why we have Phil if I here. Crank that, He's the best. If I crank his <laughs> joint this way mm -hmm. or Ouch. that way, then it it reefs Ouch. on yeah. the ring bone, which uh -huh. is the... That'll trigger some inflammation and pain ring, and all ring, of that. Ring bone is advanced arthritis. Yeah, that um, bone growth. Oh, it's sad. So the arthritis starts to actually set the joint. So every time the horse moves the joint, it breaks the fusion. Uh, Basically, every time he moves, he's breaking his bones. Oh. So well, when, honey. when the ring bone reaches its when it runs its full cycle and that joint <gasps> is fused, the, it quits hurting. Oh, but it's because it's fused. a solid bone. Right, right, that makes right? sense. So <clears throat> it doesn't hurt. So this one upper ring bone, mm -hmm. this is upper ring bone, mm -hmm. this is lower ring okay. bone. So upper ring bone, he can move this one. Right. And this one's solid. Right. Quits hurting. Right. But the whole time ah. in the process, every time he moves that joint, it breaks the joint. Okay, and so how many years does it take to fuse? Months. 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 Okay. Two years. Two years. Every, every okay. just don't know. months to a, a, a number of years you don't know. Yeah. This is it, why we have be, Phil here. It can, it can take <laughs> 10, 15 years. It could never fuse. Wow. Okay. It just depends on the horse. Diet. Exercise, Diet. Also. Exercise. Right. All those things. You no, put him, if you put him in a, yeah. if you injure the joint and you put him in a cast, it will, that joint will soften. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, what can you feed him that would be uh, anti, you know, like not anti-inflammatory? Low. So like well, stay off the sugars, stay off the carbs, heavy carbs. Right. Right. Yeah. All, all just, your, just your, your local grass needs, Avoid them. Yeah. No because sugars. Because it's just gonna piss off. Yeah. The joint is already pissed off. Right. His, his feet are definitely better than the last time I saw him. Last time I saw Here, him, me... his soles were so thin, um, I could make him flinch with my thumbs. Oh, wow. So he's gotten so tougher, huh? This is not right. Okay. okay. This is prolapsed. Oh, God. Here. He has rotation. Okay. And, um, and in the radiographs, you can see that. A few months ago, probably shortly before you Little got him up here, been, huh? this right here was, was pissed off and raw. Oh, poor God. The last time I saw him, he was a hurting unit. Yeah. Um, how he, I, he, he was a super trooper because he let me trim his feet. And, he is a super trooper horse. Um, He's just an amazing I, I know it hurt. Oh, poor because guy. his feet were like mush. Oh. Um, yeah, and just then, too much wetness. And he wetness. hadn't gotten the three-quarter minus in yet. Yeah. So he was just... His feet are in a better place than they were. What was that? That was probably about a year ago. Gosh, um, has it been that long? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Was, what, he oh. had that. Now that this is the issue because he's standing on his sore foot, so this is why he's got the medicine on board because so. he has to stand on that owie foot. So he may be a little more fussy on this side. Feels gonna work fast. Yeah. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. So because he's super, super thin sole, I don't want to touch that sole at all. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm just removing the hoof wall. Okay. Oh, that's why you're not cutting out any. Oh, because no, there's nothing no to cut. No touching of the sole. No Because touching. he's thin sole. Thin sole. Okay. And, you know, Nako would like to ride him, that kind of stuff. And, and I have not ridden him because I, until Nako I saw to, you. Nako has to do one of two things. Nako has to have boots, yeah. or Nako has to shoe this horse. Okay. Now, Janine, Dr. Janine, talked uh -huh. about once he's trimmed, then she wanted to have some boots, you know, pro professionally custom made for him for this ring bone issue. Is that, is that, does he need that? Do you know? Do you think? I mean, what, what's your opinion on that? that 
So what, what kind of boot that, do they put on them? It would my be My opinion permanent? on that is shoe it. Shoe it. Okay. Yeah. That's my my professional opinion. Okay. Being a farrier. Yeah. As opposed to boots. And, and, and what would he would be in a boot here. all the time? Is he that what would, she's talking about? Uh, you know, I'm not sure what she's talking about. Because that would just be horrible. He'd rot his feet out in boots. Right. You would only you would only he would only benefit from a custom boot if the boot was on the foot. Right. Um, the shoes are on all the time. Where shoes are on all the time, okay. giving him benefit all the time. Okay. Um, when a horse has ring bone, um, they need minimums, minimal um, breakover. So you need to minimize the leverage on the foot mm -hmm. because the more you pull on the joint, the more mm -hmm. it hurts. Mm -hmm. So if you basically like, like if they were standing on a tennis ball mm -hmm. and, and they could just roll around on that shoe that minimizes the leverage, then that's going to make them more comfortable and it's going to speed up the ossification process of the ring bone and it'll solidify faster. Okay. And then, and then the, the then the limping is right. The ring bone is less. The ring bone. Oops, sorry, I got your ass in that picture. <laughs> the, the, the joint basically becomes solid. Right, and then, and then the pain stops. Right, and then it, does he have a? He would kind of have a different gait, I suppose. Absolutely, a little bit, right? Yeah. But they figure out how to move but, over the end of that joint. Okay, just yeah. like people with extreme arthritis, where the joint fuses. Yeah. Or or you break a, a, a finger and a, and a joint is damaged and it fuses. You learn to work around that finger. Sure, that sure. Bend. You just work around it. Right. Um, people with broken ankles, they can still walk, but right. they walk different than sure. somebody that has a flexible ankle. Easy buddy, easy buddy. Um, I know it hurts. So it, it's not He's that it can't be done. Sore foot. And, and once that thing okay, it's fuses, right. it's no big deal. Yeah, they okay good. So once it's fused, we're, done. we're good. And then, and then good on top of that, you know, if the joint fuses and they're having a difficulty, then you can do something therapeutically with shoes or boots. Almost but um, then again, with the boots, it's only when you get the boot on. Right. Actually, work with Dr. Wilson on and looking at the radiographs uh -huh. and running measurements with her and figuring out where we're most where we're most likely going to be accurate. Okay. Because um, really, you know, the more the more thoughts Somebody. you get in on the process yeah the higher He's just leaning of, on you <laughs> come the on there the likelihood of, of getting it right the first time okay um, so you would consult usually, with her then usually you don't get it right the first time usually you get it close the first time okay and then you modify okay now something about this horse yes consult with you would consult with